It's Friday night, and that means football, the ultimate high school sport here in Texas. Or is it? I felt it, and it got real heavy. Set the hook, and it popped. Colt Anderson and Jonathan Gray are at practice. Got him? Oh. These two are part of a high school fishing team. When I first started out fishing, I mean, you start out with the Zebco, right? Everybody starts out with the Zebco or spinning reel. And then you start throwing these bait casters, which will really help me out next year in tournaments. Oh. Got one. <laughs> they are fine-tuning their skills for the upcoming season. Oh, boy. You don't have to be the biggest kid or the tallest kid or the most athletic kid to be a bass fisherman. It's all about your knowledge. Oh, gosh, did you see that? He came at it at a million miles an hour. I don't know, it's kind of like playing golf a little bit where you have different tools and you have to adapt to the conditions. Yeah, a little guy, but he's a fish. You can never become perfect at fishing. A good one. And so that's kind of a cool thing. You can always improve. Yeah, it's a pretty healthy fish. He's been sitting in this hydrilla for a while, so a uh, nice little fish. This tournament, we expect in excess of 80 teams participate. It's March on Lake LBJ, and it's time for the state high school fishing championship. Both high school and collegiate bass fishing have exploded in about the last five years. There's competition, there's scholarships associated with it. Thank you. But more than anything, I think it's bragging rights. Colt and Jonathan are considered two of the favorites. We want to target the larger fish, because this tournament on this lake, typically it takes larger fish to win. Yes, ma'am, we should. Traveling five hours from Carthage, Texas, are Marina Collins and Mia Sarder. Thank you. They are the only female team in the tournament. It is very intimidating. It's hard being the only girl, uh, only girl team out there. But uh, we, we're cool. We got this. I don't know. I'm just. I've never done this before either. It's my first too. So we're gonna represent. Um, we started talking strategy, but that's confidential. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> it's tournament time. Colt and Jonathan head for some of the lake's boat docks and slips. Marina and Mia check out a quiet bank on the south side of the lake. I think it's going to be a good spot because of how shallow it is because I think they're getting in the shallows to start making the reds for spawning. This is my first year, so I am a little scared. I mean, you just got to relax and chill. Let's go with it. <laughs> for Marina, her hero is always a step away. I had to have them. I've had them for a long time. Wonder Woman, uh, she's powerful. I mean, she can stand up on her own. She knows how to handle stuff. <laughs> While it's tough going for this dynamic duo. Oh, that is a keeper. Oh, this looks so good. By the boat docks and slips, Colt and Jonathan see all kinds of action. You see him? He's no. right there. He's right there in front of the boat. Is it a good one? That's a three pounder. Three? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's a three pounder. Three or four. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, man, he's a keeper. Gosh, dang it. Those keeper bass are sitting on spawning beds. It's lighter than everything else where the bass has cleared out all the silts and all the little sand, and they've left the rocks there so that it can hold their eggs. Here we go. Nice. He came back and nailed it. Yeah, he did. I watched the whole thing. And I'm not sure if he's a keeper, but it's a fish. Yeah, he's too short. That was sweet. I think the keys to winning the tournament is finding where the fish are and what they're going after. Unfortunately, the fish here never seem to be too interested, and that's okay. I like to do it because I can get out of the house, have fun, and you learn something new every day. Ooh, I think that's the furthest I've cast yet. <laughs> that felt good. <laughs> It's really cool being in this club because you get to meet a lot of different people and we're all of one big family. And that's really good to have friends that you can be really close with. 
Throughout the afternoon, the boys can see some fish, oh, there's another one, there's another one. There is. but can't seem to get them to bite. Ooh, man, he likes. Oh, oh no, he didn't bite. He got. Ooh, yeah. oh, oh man, gosh, dang it! The adrenaline. I love the adrenaline. Any cast you make can be a big one. That's what I like about it. Oh, got one. Oh, it's a good one. Five pounder. Please stay on, please stay on, please stay on. Yeah. What is that? You ready to get him? Yep, I'm ready. Please get him in the net. Please get him in the net. Oh, my God. That's bigger than five. That's bigger than five. That's a six. It's a giant. As the tournament wraps up, for Marina and Mia, there are no fish, but there are plenty of smiles. Uh, today really didn't go as well as I thought it would, but uh, yeah, we had, had fun. fun. I mean, almost falling off the boat a couple times, but we still had fun. Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that was, that was, we need to get him over to the air It's quick. Yeah. Other anglers have some serious games. Oh, yeah, some big fish caught today. All right, coming up next, we have Colt Anderson and Jonathan Grace. For Colt and Jonathan, both know they didn't catch enough to win. It was a rough day, rough day on the water. Six pounds, 10 ounces. We we're expecting to do a little better today. It looks like they got a monster in there. Three fish, 14 pounds. Moves you guys into second place. 23 pounds, 11 ounces. 32 pounds even, you're new. Leaders. 32 pounds for the win. Oh. Which I'm sure will stand. I don't think anybody gets <laughs> that. Well, we thank you guys for coming out. Glad you guys enjoyed your time out in the water. Yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back. Yeah, Stronger than last time. Definitely. <laughs>